Take that, January winter. Ha <laughs> ha. If you have a new hive, maybe that you've built yourself and you've, you paint it, let that uh, new hive air out before you throw your package in. Don't paint it on Monday and then Monday night throw a package in there. Uh, the smell could still be too strong or something. But normally a few days of just being, letting the paint dry is all that you need to do. Finally, what I want you to think about is something that I have... Uh, started this year is I'm not marking the queens on packages and here's why because remember they have to release this queen out of a package uh, out of her own cage and they have to accept her and that means that she's not associated with these bees at, as their mother yet and they're getting pheromones associated with her if she has a mark on her back now, again, I don't have any scientific data to back me up on this, but if she has a mark on her back, then it could indicate to the bees that she might have something wrong with her, that she's inferior. I know this is not the case on mature queens and mature colonies. In other words, I know I mark queens. I can go out to a colony that's healthy, they're established, and I can pick the queen up and mark her and nobody cares. I'm, I'm just thinking, how can we eliminate newly installed packages from absconding and we're trying to get that new queen accepted in a new package on brand new equipment i'm just trying to pull all plugs out that might cause them to abscond and marking a queen it's just going to be one of the things that we're going to put into place that might help them stay and not view her as an inferior or a problematic queen you understand what i'm saying so, these are about 10 or 11 points that I want to stress that you can participate in that maybe helps your uh, uh, colonies uh, survive that initial installation and not abscond. 